Hi, I'm Amanda Oakleaf of Oakleaf Cakes. Thanks for clicking on this free video. I'm going to show you how to make a pickle wedge look really realistic out of fondant. It's all going to be a part of a bigger video series that I'm teaching on how to make a sculpted hamburger cake. And we're going to show you how to crumb coat and stack and carve a sculpted hamburger with a couple patties, as well as make a bunch of fondant vegetables, onions, lettuce, tomato. We've also carved the buns, put some seeds on top, and then finish it off with a pickle wedge on the bottom in addition to some fondant potato chips. For the pickle wedge, you can really just do fondant. So I'm just gonna knead that to where the color is where I want it. I want this nice light color to be the main focus of the pickle. So what we wanna do is form it into a log just by rolling it or rolling it on the table. So we wanna keep the outside edge, which can be this, cause that's gonna be covered up with the skin, nice and round. And cut at an angle. So that's one edge, and then we wanna cut from the other direction, putting the flat edge on the table. So now I just have a rough cut edge. I wanna keep this back nice and rounded, and form the pickle, because you want those two flat edges to be nice and flat. And what we need to do now is cover the outside in a very thin layer of the dark green, and that would be like the skin on the outside of the pickle. And to roll out fondant on the table, you just want a little bit of cornstarch, both on the bottom and a little bit on the top as well. That way it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. So you want to keep moving this around just so it doesn't stick to the surface. If it sticks, you have to start over. So it's good to just keep moving it around. And this is way longer than I need. I'm just making sure that I have the right thinness. It's pretty thin, so I'm just gonna cut off more than I need to work with. So we want to measure the length of this not curled because that won't be the full length. You want to lie out flat and you can just take your pizza cutter and then I'll cut one edge and glue it and then I'll cut the other edge afterwards. That way I'm sure it's going to cover the back. If you have cornstarch on the back, you want to just flip it over. That way when you put your pickle on here and flip it over this way, you have your nice clean edge showing for when it's finished. And we need to glue it on. So we're going to use our meringue powder glue it's just a mixture of meringue powder and water. So you can put that on a brush. If you use too much glue, it'll just start to dissolve the fondant and it will be really a big sticky mess. So just enough to get it tacky is all. And put that right in the center. And I'm lining it up with this edge and then I'll go ahead and cut the other edge after the fact. Okay. And then a little bit more glue on this end of it. So that's our pickle, and I want to cut off all this extra. You don't want to cut it too short, so just run it right along the wedge. And it should just line up exactly. And if there's a little bit of extra fondant there, just a little bit more glue. And then, I need some glue on the ends here. And this, we want to cut more to a point. So as long as it's long enough, just cut off the square edges. And same thing on the other side. And the last thing I would do to this is add some seeds. And I can do that in the same color as the flesh of the pickle. And the seeds are really just little bits of fondant. Take off a little tiny, tiny pea-sized amount and then roll it into more of a teardrop shape, and then we'll just press that onto the pickle after we get a few of them made. So roll it into a ball and then just taper the edge, that way you get a teardrop shape. I want them to go the entire length of the pickle wedge. So I have enough seeds to cover the length of my pickle, so I'll just go ahead and glue them on. And you can just put a little dab of glue, you don't want too much, because it will dry shiny if you get glue everywhere. Press them on and then you can just flatten them out. Leave a little bit of space, do the next one. And that's the last one. So you could call it done. If you wanted to, you could add a bit more texture, kind of like some more ribbing texture on the back of the pickle, just to give some cucumber pickly ridges. And then if you want to, just to flatten out the seeds a little bit more, just press it right there on the table. It'll make everything nice and flat. And then just make sure you let it dry in the curved shape that you want. 
As you can see, that was really easy to make, a fondant pickle. It'll look really nice next to our hamburger cake. So I encourage you to enroll in the hamburger cake course, and I hope to see you there.